Okay guys, so there's been a lot of requests uh, to test in Battlefield and I had a few of my own as well. This is about smoke uh, removing a tracer. I uh, pressed the wrong button there, but you can see the tracer's gone. And let's just do it again uh, so I don't stuff it up. So there's the tank. There's the enemy tracer. Firing the smoke and the tracer's gone. Okay, so this one's to do with C4. There's just one that's placed on the tank by the enemy. When I get in the tank, I can't tell that the C4 is on there. There's no uh, audible sound or visual cue. But it's placed in a good location that it only takes uh, a few shots to take it down. In this clip, we have people spotted. They launch snow smoke and uh, we can no longer spot them. And anyone near that smoke cloud can't be spotted. But if someone ducks out of the cloud, the person on the right, they uh, eventually can get spotted. Heads up, I got eyes on the end. There we go. So in this one, we uh, waited until the smoke was launched and then tried to spot them. And uh, you cannot get a spot on them either. But you can see that I can spot that person there. So in this clip, it's uh, similar to the tank. I mean, a helicopter. I'm being traced right now. There's no missile lock because no one's obviously uh, targeting their tracer. But by using the smoke, I have conf a confirmation from people on the ground that the tracer is no longer active. Here's the second last one. Here's a nice little spot if you want to snipe. Obviously, uh, you have to get away when you've killed a few people. Easy to take out. Lastly, a teammate of mine is putting C4 on the tank. That means if I shoot it, or an enemy uh, person shoots it, it's going to hurt the tank. So if your uh, teammate puts C4 on the tank or any other vehicle, you don't really want to be using it. Oops, killed myself there. Anyway guys, till next time, see ya.